circular dependency in DI detected. You'll encounter this error when you have a dependency that depends on itself, either directly or more often indirectly. A runtime error will be thrown in the browser console telling you which class is affected. But what's perhaps more useful is a warning that can be seen both in the console and in the terminal. Most importantly, it provides the path of the circular dependency. If we look closely, it's telling us we have a storage class that injects a user class, which itself depends on the original storage class. Let's go ahead and look at a simple reproduction, and then we'll take some time to go in depth about Angular's dependency injection system. If we take a look at our source code, you'll notice we have two services, user and storage. The problem is that user has injected storage in its constructor, and storage has injected user in its constructor, putting them in an impossible codependent relationship. The solution to this problem is to break the loop, which will most likely require some refactoring. It's perfectly okay for an injectable to depend on another injectable, but the relationship can only go one way, which means in this case, we need to refactor to remove the user service from storage or vice versa, remove the storage service from user. And generally speaking, it's a good idea to minimize the number of dependencies in an injectable service, because that will reduce the likelihood of similar issues coming up in the future. Now, in our storage class, we have a method to write the user to the database, but it depends on the user service for the current user value. We can address the problem here by refactoring our code to take the user value as an argument rather than inject the entire user class. Not only does that allow us to remove the dependency from the constructor, it will also make this code easier to unit test because you don't have an additional dependency to mock or worry about. And the method only depends on its input arguments, making it easier to reason about. Now, if we go ahead and save our changes, the error is gone. But before we wrap things up, let's take a deeper look at Angular's dependency injection to understand why this error happens in the first place. When you generate a service with the Angular CLI, you'll notice how the class is decorated with injectable. When used with the provided in root option, Angular will instantiate the class and make it visible throughout the entire application. Unlike a component, this class is only instantiated once as a singleton. Now imagine two classes that depend on each other. How do you determine which one to instantiate first? It's a classic chicken or the egg paradox, and that just doesn't work when you're following the dependency inversion principle. Let's go ahead and recap. When you encounter a circular dependency in DI detected, the first step is to determine which dependencies create a loop by mapping out the dependencies in the constructor of your components, modules, and services. Once identified, you can then refactor your code to break the loop. For additional details and examples, check out the dependency injection guide in the official Angular documentation.